We finally got our hands on Google's brand new phones, the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. Here's what's great and here's what's not. Quick differences between the two. The smaller Pixel 2 with a 5.5 inch screen starts at $649, while the larger six inch Pixel 2 XL starts $200 more at $849. Enthusiasts are really gonna like the Pixel 2 XL. It has a screen that runs almost edge to edge, while the Pixel 2 has a sort of traditional and more boring look to it. Both phones, however, run the latest version of Android. It's called Android Oreo, and they also sport Google's new lens technology, which allows you to take pictures of objects, including even stores, and Google can identify them for you. They also have a couple features that we haven't seen on other Android phones. They're both able to listen to music at any time and let you know what song is playing on the home screen. Also, whenever a meeting's coming up, the top menu bar there alerts you right ahead of the meeting. Okay, so a couple of things I like. The cameras are really, really good. It's probably the highlight feature of the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. You can take pictures in portrait mode like we've seen on the iPhone 8 Plus, but it also works on the front-facing camera, which is something that we'll see in the iPhone 10. I also like that both phones have stereo front-facing speakers, so you can hold them and listen to music or play a movie and hear stereo sound while you're hanging out on the couch. A couple things I don't like. I didn't find the battery life on either phone to be that great. Thankfully, they charge really fast. Second, the screens actually look really washed out on both phones. I asked Google about this, and they said it was specifically done so that whites looked more crisp when you were looking at the display. To me though, the colors just don't really pop off, especially on the home screen. I also wish both phones had wireless charging. It's something that used to be really popular on Android phones, and Samsung and LG have continued to add it, but Google hasn't added it to the Pixels yet. And now that Apple's added it to the iPhone 8, I think we're gonna start seeing it more and more. They're exclusive to Verizon, which makes them kind of hard to get. You can either get them on a contract at Verizon or pay full price from Google for an unlocked model, which will work on carriers like T-Mobile and AT&T. So should you buy them? Yes, if you're an enthusiast and you really want the latest version of Android. It's really polished and works really well. On the other hand, I think most folks are probably better suited by a Galaxy S8. It's cheaper, it has wireless charging, so it charges quickly. It has a better display that runs from edge to edge. So for most of you, get a Galaxy S8. For everybody who really needs Android, Pixels are probably your best bet. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.